Hey guys, what's going on? I'm so happy and grateful that you're here with me today, my little camcorder. I use screencast to my because it's cheap and easy. It's going nuts on me. There's usually a pause button or a stop button. I can hit right there, but it's disappeared. But anyway, hi guys, what's up? Today I want to talk to you about something a little bit different for me because I'm always talking about the woo-woo stuff, mindset stuff etc. This year has really taken a toll on my emotions. It's made me crazy. It's made me depressed. It's made me sad. It's made me mad. All the feelings. Last year was freaking awesome. <laughs> I know you're probably feeling like that too. I know everybody's probably feeling like that. I mean, my goodness, look what is going on around the world. It's got plum crazy, hasn't it? Okay. Um. Anyway, I had my first spiritual awakening in 2012. Then 2020 happened, and it's more like a verification of that first one. I think everybody else is going through. I know a lot of people are waking up to all the crap that we have been. It's like we've been asleep. To me, it feels like we have been asleep all this time. And I think God has just pushed a pause button for everybody and is like, wake up, wake up, wake up. Especially, not just if you're a Christian, and to me it's not about Christianity, it's about the spiritual, it's about your spirit, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think you have to go to church to be a follower of Christ or to believe in Jesus or God, you know what I mean? So to me it's a spiritual thing, everything that's happening is happening for a reason, Everything always happens for a reason. There there are no coincidences. I don't believe there's coincidences. I believe there are consequences to our actions and our thoughts and stuff like that. But I don't believe there are coincidences. I believe we're going through this stuff for a reason. And it's global. It's not just here in the United States. Um, Are we living in the end times? I don't know. Do you? I mean, what do you think about it? To me, it feels like it. I think um, it might get better for a while and then probably go back to bad. I don't know. I believe that our president that we have in the United States, President Trump, I believe he was put in the position he is in right now for a reason. And we're having peace in the Middle East now. The deal with Israel. Um, you know, they're building that temple back. We've got that. That's a sign. Uh Peace in the Middle East is definitely a sign, especially Jerusalem. What was it they named Jeru Was it Jerusalem they named as the capital or something of magnitude over there? That has never happened. It's always meant to be because it's in the Bible. But anyway, all this stuff that's happening, it's like the Bible is being fulfilled right in front of us, okay? We're supposed to have peace for a while, and then that peace agreement will get broken, the peace, the whatever it is, they'll, they'll go back to war, basically. That peace will get broken, and then I don't know if that's when the tribulation starts or if that's the middle. I can't really remember because I need to study my Bible better because I broke off from the Bible and got into all the prosperity uh, preaching or whatever they call it. I got into the law of attraction and the positive mindset stuff which i'm going to stay doing that stuff you just have to realize though you can't let the me 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 take over from god right you have to always when you're grateful for things be grateful because your creator made it possible be be grateful because god gave this blessing to you right always because when you do that you're giving god the praise and that's who deserves it but anyway I don't know. I just had a lot, just like connecting dots. You know what I'm saying? It's like your life is on this little path and you, all these different actions you take and all the consequences of those actions, they add up to make the story of your life. And to me, it's like these little dots are all connecting for me. And I'm realizing why I had that spiritual awakening in 2012. And then another, it's not like I had another awakening, but it's like I got shook up again in 2020, which I think a lot of people did. But I think a lot of people were asleep. I know a lot of us have already had our spiritual awakening, and we were into the, all the spiritual stuff. But now it's like more and more people are getting, not that they're getting into it, it's that they're waking up to the spiritual side of us, right? It's not just the human side. 
But anyway, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's ex exciting. It's scary all at the same time. We don't know what's going to happen. And that's always fearful because everybody has a fear of the unknown. We have to make sure we keep our faith, right? We have to keep our faith in God, keep our faith in Jesus, and know that he has a purpose for all of this stuff. So no matter how depressing it gets, I know it's depressing. My life has been crazy, 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 crazy depressing. I've cried, I don't know how many nights going to sleep over this stuff. And then that's when I usually have to take a break and get off Twitter, get off social media. I even had to unpublish my uh, blog page over on Facebook because I had people going and looking me up. And I didn't want them just throwing me out there, you know, or throwing me under the bus or making fun of me and all this crap. So I unpublished my page on Facebook for the time being. But anyway, are you being censored yet on social media? I know I am. On Twitter, I, I get out of Twitter jail tomorrow or Wednesday. Watch this. I cannot, let's see, I can, like if I want to like this uh, post, watch what happens. Oops. Look, I got 17 hours left. I have no idea who that is. Anyway, I'm censored. I cannot post. I cannot reply. I cannot retweet. I'm censored on Twitter. On Facebook, I've done pretty good. They've deleted some of my posts and they put up those stupid uh, fact checker things under my post. But I'm not too worried about Facebook. I'm getting ready to actually pull the plug on Facebook. YouTube, I haven't been censored because I don't put out controversial stuff over there. But have you been censored yet? If you haven't, be glad because it sucks. I'm telling you, it really sucks when you cannot voice your own opinion. It's bullshit. We have free speech in this country. It's not fair what they are doing. And everybody's like, well, you don't have to be on Twitter. If that was happening to them, they would feel the same way. They would hate it too. It sucks. I hope that our government takes that section 230 or whatever it's called. I hope they get their government crap. I hope they get all that took away. Government protection is what it is. I hope they get their government protection took away from them because it's not fair the way they're doing conservatives compared to liberals. Now, liberals can have, um, what's that dude's name? Andy? Let me find him. Uh, liberals can even plan Antifa organizations and meetups on Twitter, and it's fine. They don't take them down. Actually, if you go under Andy, I cannot say his last name, and I'm sorry, Andy, if you ever see this video. Nago, Andy Go, he has got, he even organizes his threads, his tweets. He has all kinds of, uh, Antifa things on here, not just the fights, not just the riots, but he shows. Let's see if that's one of them. Yep. Here's a flyer for Antifa's post election activities in both Portland and Salem. This is what they plan on doing. Now, look, if you go up here, PNW, that's Portland, PNW Youth Liberation Front, that's a, that is a freaking Antifa movement group whatever you want to call it let's see what it says november 4th rally 2 p.m that is right after the freaking election week of action that means we'll have more riots a coalition of antifa groups in portland have already announced their post-election protest plans they're calling for a week of shutting down businesses they're meeting on november 4th now see this is bullshit and i hope Hopefully, if Trump wins again, if he gets elected again, hopefully, he will actually use the, the guard and our military to shut these people down and to get them arrested and get them prosecuted. Look at this crap. We are going to F shit up. BLM and Tifa promoted this event for Sunday the 25th. Well, that was yesterday. I didn't watch to see if they did anything. But if you go on his Twitter, you will find all kinds of little groups. Everybody keeps saying, oh, Antifa's not real. It's just an idea or whatever. You can go on here. Twitter allows it to happen. They allow them to comment each other. They allow them to organize using Twitter. But if 
you're a patriot and you want to organize a protest, a peaceful protest, they will shut you down. They will censor you. If you say something back to somebody, even if you're just making a smart-ass comment, it don't even have to be a smart-ass comment. I asked somebody a question, and they must have reported me, and my dumb butt, instead of uh, appealing it, I was like, well, we'll just delete the comment, and it won't be no big deal. Well, I clicked to let them delete it because I was like, well, it's just a comment. It ain't no big deal. And they ended up, I had to take a damn suspension for a whole week off Twitter. So it pisses you off when you can't say your piece, but they can freaking sit here and organize. You know, look at all this crap. This is at Trader Joe's in Seattle. Going through that business. I don't, that's not a peaceful protest, people. Come on, get it back on the sidewalk. There ain't no sense in being that way. Let's see what this says. In Antifa Portland's Telegram chat room, they're discussing how to plan better riots. DA equals direct action. One person suggests better situational awareness to kick out videographers. Person also suggests making the bot to clog up 911 line with fake calls. Oh, I hope these people get in trouble. Look at this crap. Is it possible to set up robot calls on police lines? Overwhelm their system during DA's direct action to confuse the hell out of them. This is clogging up the 911 system. What if somebody's having a heart attack? What if somebody's getting hurt and needs to actually get the police to their home? They don't care. They don't care. And I hope, like hell, this shit gets smashed. When Trump gets reelected, I hope this shit just gets smashed down. I hope they prosecute them and I hope they get years in prison because this is insurrection this is being a traitor to your country so i don't know it just pisses me off but anyway what do y'all think about it are you censored yet on any social media platform what do you think about the rights and stuff and antifa blm what's your opinion on it are you for or against it let me know in the comments i've got to hop off here go get my kids yep they should be getting off the bus here in about 15 minutes go pick up my kids from school and we're at my mom's house. They ride the bus to mom's. What in the crap was that? Oh. Ooh. A now retired police officer has been indicted after he allegedly hit a looter with a car. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's bad. Why'd he do that? He shouldn't have hit the dang person with his car. Now that ain't right. Definitely not right. See if we didn't have video of this stuff. We wouldn't know who was in the wrong, the cop or the other person, you know what I'm saying? So it, it works both ways. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to hop off here. I will talk to you here in a little bit, okay? I hope you have an awesome freaking rest of the day, and I will see you tomorrow for day four of our gratitude practice. Bye, y'all. Now i got to figure out how to cut this thing off. <laughs> Bye, guys.